Number three, show by suitable net ionic equations that each of the following species can act as a bronsted Lowry acid. And then we have the last letter out of the bunch, which is letter F. So in this case, we have to just write an equation that state that HSO4 minus will be a bronsted Lowry acid. Okie dokie. So I wrote down a little, you know, information down here of what we got to do in order to convert an acid, which is this guy, into its conjugate base. And the word conjugate just means that it's a species on the product side. So you'll always have a conjugate base or a conjugate acid on the right side of the yield side. All right, so we're starting off with the acid. So HSO4, and it's a minus one charge, right? Minus, minus one, tomato, tomato, right? And we need a net ionic equation, which means we need states. So acids and bases, they're going to be in a liquid water media. So we can say that this is AQ. Now, since HSO4 is not on our list of strong acids or bases, it's in an equilibrium uh, yield sign, which means that the products and the reactants go back and forth. But we've done tons of problems with equilibrium in the last chapter. All right. So now what happens? Well, the acid will always lose one hydrogen. It donates one hydrogen that it's got. Now, in HSO4's, you know, you know, position, it, it only has one H. So this H, bye-bye, it's leaving. And that's the H that's always added on to the product side. So this being a plus H plus, that's always the hydrogen that was lost, right? Things just don't get destroyed. They have to be accounted for. So this H that's going bye-bye is over on the product side now just by its little lonesome. So I'll say that this is the H plus and that was added and it's aqueous. Okay, cool. Now we just have to write down everything else. So the difference between an acid and a base is that the acid will always have just one more hydrogen. Well, what's left? S, O, and four. But now because you lose one hydrogen, you always have to minus one from the original charge. And the original charge of HSO4 was a minus one. So if I come over here, minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one is negative two, right? Negative one minus one is a negative two. And since this is the conjugate base, it's aqueous. And that's it. If you noticed, the acid and its base only differ by one hydrogen and that one charge. But that's, that's all that it is, guys. All right? So this is your net ionic equation acting, you know, HSO4 acting as an acid. And I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Like the video and tell your friends, tell your classmates that this exists. I know that there has been a lot of uh, inquiries in the comments saying, uh, you know, chapter 14 is definitely a must. So here I am. <laughs> All right. So hopefully we could, you know, demolish this chapter. We're going to get it. So Let's keep saying hard. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.